I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. I'm finishing up my Inkscape project book. It's coming out in December. Here's a sneak peek of some of the pages. I saved my favorite project, this shape fill design, for last. And in revisiting it, they always say when you try to teach something, you actually learn more. I found a much simpler way to do it, and that's what I'll show you today. The original method is still great. It's a more advanced technique, but this is so much faster and easier. I'm gonna include this version in the book. First, you wanna decide what is the subject for this project. Before we did Saturn and we created the shapes ourselves, or for today, I'm gonna to download an image from rawpixel.com. I'll have the description in the link below. Once you have it downloaded, drag it onto your canvas. Import type embed, DPI from file, rendering none, okay. And we're gonna do this handprint as our guide image. For the object fill, you can let your imagination run wild. I just did a simple circle, rounded off box, star, the handprint again, and a heart. The main difference and what makes this method so much easier is we're gonna do the fill with all these objects all at once. One quick tip before I show you how easy it is to do, when you choose your fill objects, Try to keep them to things that are squared off. What I mean is if you have a long, narrow object, it won't work quite as well and it'll make more sense when I show you these settings. The tool that's gonna make this all happen is Spray Can right here. If you've never used it, the way it works is you can select any object, I'll choose as heart. When you click on Spray Tool up in the control area, it's gonna spray out based on these settings. I'll explain them in a second and it looks like this. <laughs> Control Z, undo. As you learn Inkscape, you get more familiar with Spray Tool. I wanna show you if you select multiple objects, like all of these, actually I'll do the big ones, all these big ones, and do Spray Tool, you can spray all of them. Pretty cool. Control Z again. The only reason I reduce the size is I think it looks better to have a tighter fill. So we'll use a minimized version. I kept it here so you can see what they are. And let's go over the settings. Click on Spray Tool. You wanna be on the first mode, which is spray copies. For width, 10, amount, 50, rotation, 50, scale, 60, scatter, 50, focus, one. And here's where you need to make a change. The first eyeball have it open, apply over no transparent areas. That'll make it easier to trace and you won't have objects flying everywhere. The second eyeball, deselect it. I'll leave it at that. It's sort of a double negative, just deselect it. And to make sure the objects don't overlap, if you don't have this one, these little squares, if it's not selected, choose it. And that's your offset. You want the offset amount to be 100%. That is it. And let's do it. I'll make a bounding box over the fill objects I wanna do. Click the spray tool and spray away. The original method did a lot of masking and grouping, and you don't have to do any of that. You can spray them all at once if you have it offset like this. If you make a mistake and fly off the edge, it's not gonna spray on the transparent area because of the settings. Knowing me, I think I'll do a time lapse here. And time jump. I also wanna show if you zoom in, you can fill in some of the areas that might be sparse, and it's still gonna honor the offset. It's not gonna overlap on you. So you don't have to do it all at once. When you feel like you're done, you can delete the guide image, make a bounding box around everything. I'll do control G to group it, and you can slide it onto a different colored background for more contrast. Let me show you another example. This is one where I changed the colors on the inside after I created the object fill, and I isolated some larger stars in there. This is it against black. Here it is against white. It's really easy to do. I wanted to give you the update in case you wanted to do this application yourself, and we'll see you next time.